What's up guys, it's Kyle here once again with another episode of The Tours. Today we're gonna to be featuring a $2.7 million estate here with the main house and a guest house that we're gonna go see. And this house offers six bedrooms, five and a quarter bathrooms, and just under 5,000 square feet of living space. This property sits on 2.8 acres of land. All right guys, now let's get right into the tour. All right guys, so I wanna first take a look at this nice garage design. Silver design on the garage cover right here. Super nice lights as we go on up here that encompasses these garage doors. And as we go on these steps, you have these glass railings over on the side right here and you have lights coming out in the dark. All right guys, now welcome to the foyer. As you guys can see, this is a huge wooden door right over here. And then we have nice hardwood floors across the whole main floor guys. And then as we come on over here, we're gonna first head towards the kitchen. So if we go towards the kitchen, you guys are gonna see beautiful countertops right here. Super nice range hood with a glass ceiling over it. And then you have a nice electrical stove right over here. You have a stainless steel dishwasher right over here. And you have a nice sink over here which overlooks the Puget Sound. Check that out guys. And with that being said, this home has a really unique feature that we don't see in many homes, which is that it has a TV in the kitchen. This is actually one of the first tours where I've seen a TV in the kitchen. And then as we look going over here, you guys can see wooden cabinets for storage. And then here you have a huge stainless steel freezer and refrigerator right here. Nice set of ovens right here as well. And you guys can see across all of these Across all these features, this wooden contrast is on the floor and also on the cabinets, respectively. So now, let's go on over here to the main living room, as you guys can see. Right here, you have a nice little bench that they staged over here, and you guys can apply furniture as needed, but over here, you guys can just sit down right here and watch your TVs or hang out or whatnot. Right over here would be where the dining table would be. And as we come on over here, we have beautiful lights running through this side of the house and it overlooks down. Here we can have separate amenities like TVs or you know like a like a game room or kind of set up toys like that. And then over here we have a nice fireplace. And then on over here could be maybe a formal dining room right over here or we can use this as as potentially a game room or like a place where your kids can hang out on if you have a family. I want to make this note as we come on over here. This is also part of the living room. You guys can see, you just have a nice balcony right over here. Check this out, guys. And this balcony obviously faces the Puget Sound. However, there are trees covering it a little bit, but it faces over the Puget Sound and you have a, a very extended view of your surroundings all across. And it gives us a really good perspective and it gives this living room such an open concept as you guys can see. And another balcony that I want to go over to, and once again, we're going to wrap around here, is the kitchen balcony. The kitchen balcony over here is honestly probably the best looking balcony in, the part, in this part of the home. Not only do you have a kitchen that has a TV in it, but you also have an amazing view that comes along with this balcony outside. So as you guys can see, in Seattle, you have a nice, beautiful waterfront area right over here. And this... This estate overlooks that a lot. So as you guys can see, floors, floors are all wooden, with once again, glass railings, just like on the outside. And as you guys can see, you guys are overlooking the Puget Sound and across to Vashon Island. So now as we go into the right side of this foyer, we're gonna be able to see beautiful closet space right over here for you to store your amenities. And you guys have double doors on both of these areas right over here. And then now as we come on over to this part of the home, you have a main floor full bathroom and a main floor bedroom right over here. So as you guys can see, this main floor bedroom overlooks, as you guys can see, this main floor bedroom overlooks the force and the view has an incredible view of the force in your neighborhood surroundings. And then now as we come on over here, we're gonna go wrap around towards that bathroom that we just saw. So this bathroom right here, Super nice glass countertop right over here. Amazing shower space, as you guys can see, views of the forest once again. 
nice little rectangular mirror. And then now we're gonna go towards the downstairs of this home. And as we go on downstairs now, guys, I want you guys to take a look at this amazing setup. You guys have some nice railings on the side, on the right side, and then you have this nice wooden finish on the left side. And as we go on downstairs, you guys are gonna see the floors are different. This gives it a very garage type feel on, on this side of the home. And you guys can see it's solid, solid stone right over here. And then over here, you have a nice little mudroom right here. A nice mudroom right here. Um, wooden mudroom. And then as we go on over here, this is where you're gonna see your nice, beautiful two door garage right here. So this two door garage probably can fit up to two, probably three cars because this garage door is extends towards the back over here. So you honestly could probably fit three normal sized vehicles right here. Um, and so two vehicles right over here and then one vehicle right over there. And this is a super nice garage as you guys can see, has that metal touch to the cover. Now as we go on back into the home, we wanna first make our way to this part of the home, which is a full bathroom from inside of the downstairs floor, which is super nice if you had guests coming over, staying in the main residence. You guys have a nice full setup right here. Super nice countertop finish as well. All right guys, and we're coming to this part of the downstairs now. Yeah, as you guys can see, once again, a super nice outdoor, nice little patio balcony area. And on the right of that, you have a nice glass pane overlooking the trees and forests. And then over here, once again, a nice wooden door to go into a nice walk-in closet. Here you have kind of a mini kitchen right here. Not, there's not really a sink or a stove, but you have a nice little wine cell that they have here where you can store your wine collection. And then another space where here you can do like a little movie room and a little bedroom or something of that sort right over on this side. All right guys, so as we head on upstairs now, on the right you guys can see this glass paneling railing right over here once again. And we're gonna go on upstairs and you guys have this beautiful light that shines on you whenever you go on upstairs. It gives you a really nice feeling when you're coming on up. And then on, when you come on up, you're just gonna see the views extend to the upstairs, guys. So on your left right here, you have a super nice glass pane right here that overlooks your neighbors and the other force, very secluded estate. And on over here, right straight ahead, you have that view of the primary bedroom balcony as well as the view outside as well on the ocean. And right across from that, you guys can see nice little storage area, right little space right over here. Here you have a nice little overlook to see who's, if you have any guests coming over, you guys can kind of peek through here, see who's coming on through. And then now as we go on to the main part of the upstairs, you guys are gonna see this is a super huge closet right here where you, you, there's around eight doors. There's eight doors on this closet. And this essentially represents kind of the walk-in closet of, in this home. So then as we come on over here, we have a nice countertop right here, over here where your washer dryer unit would be right on over here. And then before we get into the primary bedroom, I really want to go and emphasize into the private balcony on the primary bedroom. Take a look at this. As you guys can see, this is, has the same angle from the kitchen balcony and it overlooks the entire waterfront and also the island next to it, which is super nice. I love this view a lot. And for the primary bedroom, you guys have an amazing view throughout this whole room. Now, as we come back on inside, we wanna go to the primary bedroom right over here. Right over here is where you would set up your bed against these, these soft lining right here. And then right on over here, this huge glass pane, once again, has that view of that waterfront area. And then as we come on over here to the primary bathroom here, you guys have a nice huge sink right here, nice countertop to store all your amenities. Um, the storage space also down below, but it's just a huge countertop as you guys can see. And then as we come on over here, this is what I think is really funny about this home. This toilet right here, this toilet right here also has an, like one of those jets that squirts up when you're, so you, don't have, so you don't really need toilet paper on this toilet, which is quite funny. As you guys can see, the shower, the shower has a glass, has a glass entrance and also has the same texture around the shower as the sink does, which is super nice, I think. All right, guys, and as we move on to the guest house, I just wanna make a note as we walk up here, the stone steps and the stone finishes on these stair, stair steps are super nice. And as you guys can see, you have a nice little pebble with lights on the side as you come on over to the guest house. 
The guest house is pretty big as well, and it has a lot of exterior features that cannot be missed, honestly. So, right on our, on our right, right here, as you, if you go down there, you go to the downstairs, which has a nice little patio over there. But we're gonna go on to the left right here. As you guys can see, super nice lights, super nice hot tub setup right here. Once again, you come on up, the stone textures right over here, as you come on up these stairs, super nice contrast. And as you come on up these steps, you guys can see the layers of design that they put into the gardening of this amazing guest home. And as we come on over here, you have a nice little campfire where in the winter you can do s'mores, sit around. Perfect winter guest home for anyone that loves to you know, hang out and have a nice little chat fireplace over here. And one more thing as before we go inside. Nice metal railings on the left. And before we go inside, I want to mention two car door garage right over there for this guest house alone. So this is separate from the garage over there. So that's all I wanted to note on that one. And as we go in inside now, guys, I wanted to take a note of these super nice wooden planks right over here, overlooking the exterior of the home. Nice numbers for the address. Coming on over here, super nice wooden finish. Nice metal exterior. And as we come on inside, super solid door right here as well. You guys can see the mudroom right over here, the mudroom right over here. Once again, with wooden finishes on the left-hand side. And over the floor now in the main living area, you guys can see all of these areas have super nice hardwood floors. And as we go on over here, super nice countertops as well, super nice finish with a nice, nice metal sink right over here. Nice refrigerator, nice updated refrigerator right over here as well in the guest home. And I love these stone textures on this, on the side of the kitchen, which is what I think is super nice about this home. And also you have a nice, amazing range hood right over here, metal range hood with wooden cabinets once again. Nice gas fire stove, check this out guys. Nice gas fire stove here. And then as we go on over here, you have a nice little oven area right over here that's attached to the cabinets. So now we're gonna go on over here um, real quick to the private balcony that you guys have on here. Super nice balcony right over here. You guys can see the main residence over there as well. As well as you guys can see that amazing view that we're talking about in the main home as well. So you guys get a glimpse of that from the guest house even, which is amazing. Now as we come on back inside, we're gonna be heading right towards our right now. And you guys have this nice little shut off bedroom area right over here. A super nice bedroom right here, as you guys can see, with the view overlooking once again, and you have nice windows facing south and west. And as we come on over here, you guys will have also a walk-in closet right to your right as here. Super nice walk-in closet, pretty good size. And then if you come on over here, you're gonna have an amazing bathroom, his and her sink with beautiful countertops with wooden cabinets as the finish on the cabinets. And right here, I wanna take a note on this amazing smooth stone texture right here on the shower faucet. So there's two shower faucets, one shower faucet right over here and one coming from the ceiling, which is the ceiling ones are the best ones in my opinion. Have the toilet over there and now we're gonna move on to the other living room. So as we come on over here, um, right before we go in, you have a nice half bathroom in the living room right next to the kitchen. So if you guys have like a party or something going on, you guys can have that half bath to excuse someone, you know, if they need to go to the bathroom. Right over here is the main living room of this home. I want to take a note of this. This one also has this nice little balcony overlooking the whole view once again. It has that wooden, wooden railings that you guys are going to see when you go downstairs. Super nice fireplace, huge TV setup right here, and I love the wooden finishes on this side of the home as well. I love the contrast of all the wooden textures. It gives it very Pacific Northwest style. So, as you guys can see, as we go on downstairs, these railings, they're metal and wooden railings that are congruent with the ones on the outside, which are super nice. Now, as we go downstairs, you guys are gonna see this wooden metal finish all over the railings once again. So, as we come on downstairs now, first thing we wanna go straight through and you have your washer dryer unit right here on this separate guest home. So this guest home has literally everything you need. You don't even need to go to the main residence. I find this guest home to be massive as well for it being a guest home. And as we come on over here, right on to our right, we have another full bathroom, his and her sink. That nice 
shower once again with that nice textured smooth stone. Toilet over right here. Super nice lights. I like this light design on this bathroom, especially compared to the other homes that we've seen before. And then right over here we have the amazing two bedrooms, one on the right, one on the left right here. So one bedroom right over here, as you guys can see. So this bedroom right over here has a nice wooden walk-in closet, full wooden door to the walk-in closet right over here. Nice little area to, to store, you know, like your trophies, you know, toys or whatnot. Same thing on this side and it overlooks the force, which I really like as well. And now we're gonna go to the final bedroom of this amazing two residence estate. So as we go on over here, once again, full wooden doors, you have a nice, you know, collection of books and storage area on right here, right here, and right here. These windows, super nice as well. And, I, and you know, before we end this video, we want to kind of take a look at that. Check this out. These shades actually go up if you really wanted to. Um, let's just say it's sunny or it's rainy. Um, you want it to go up or down, you guys can customize that on your own when you live in this amazing estate. All right, guys, if you made it this far, please drop a like down below so we can keep making more content like this. Once again, this is a two residence estate right here with a main residence and a guest home. And this features, once again, six bedrooms, five and a quarter bathrooms, and is just under 5,000 square feet of living space. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and see you on the next one.